Hey everybody, this is Coin Week editor Charles Morgan. Oh, I know what you're thinking. This mining footage I have behind me is totally fake. Well, you're right. It's all green screen. Nothing real about it. I'm actually sitting at my desk with eight amazing graded coins. And we're going to be filming each one of them and sharing with you on our YouTube video in the next week and a half. Today, we have an amazing 1901 Liberty Head $10 gold coin, which we will show and explain everything you need to know about it. But before we do that, if you want to make sure you don't miss a single video we have planned for you this next week, you definitely want to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Only about 15% of you actually are subscribed. The rest of you must find us through the YouTube algorithms. Well, don't leave it to chance because you never know what type of insightful information about collecting we have in store for you. So anyway, click that subscribe video and I'll stop doing these intros. Thank you. Today we are looking at a 1901 Liberty Head Eagle. It's a $10 gold coin minted in Philadelphia by the United States Mint. The coin weighs 0 0.483 ounces and contains approximately 0.4838 troy ounces of gold. It's a 900 fine gold coin that measures 27 millimeters and is 2 millimeters thick. These coins circulated mostly at the bank level until gold was recalled by the federal government in 1933. The Liberty Head design that you're seeing here was designed by Christian Gobrecht in the summer and fall of 1838. This obverse design is derivative of Benjamin West's painting Omnia Vincent Amore. You can see the similarities in this picture. The design would also serve as the basis for the 1839 cent and half eagle. 1,718,740 1901 eagles were struck at Philadelphia. This is a mintage that is typical for the period of 1893 to 1901. Demand for the issue would drastically decline in the subsequent years, and Philadelphia would not strike as many eagles until 1932, the year before the end. And that coin was not a Liberty Head $10 gold coin, but it was the St. Gowden's Indian design. A horde of uncirculated 1901 Liberty Head Eagles turned up in the 1950s. Still, more have been repatriated from overseas in the years since. The coin, when encountered in uncirculated grades, typically grades at 61 to 63 due to storage and handling issues. There are many gems, however. I'd like to ask you what grade you think you'd give this coin, but first, I'd like to point out a few noticeable issues with it. You can see there is a curved wheel mark or contact mark in the front of Liberty's face. There are also some other scuffs and scratches in the fields on both the obverse and the reverse. Again, gold is a very soft metal, and this is typical for what you might see with gold coins that have been stored in bags or rolls for a long period of time. So what grade would you give it? And what do you think the current market value is for a 1901 Liberty Head Gold Eagle in this grade? Is there a spot for a coin like this in your collection? Leave your comments in the comment field in one week. I'll come back and reveal the grade. For Coin Week, I'm Editor Charles Morgan. Until next time, happy collecting.